how is Oak still living? It's been eight generations and he's still kicking. I mean, I, I don't, they don't really explain how many years pass between Pokemon games, but at least some generations take place at the same time. So maybe it has been eight gens, but it's really only been like 10 years. So yeah, Oak is fine. Hey there, buddy. Did you miss me? Turns out, apparently, I'm a magical Pokemon Whisperer guy, so that's great. Come on, lighten up. Once my schoolwork starts clearing up, you won't even notice that I'm gone. It'll be just like middle school. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, he's straight up lying to Pikachu right now, dude. That's not cool. Just give me a second to sit down. It's been a long day. <laughs> I feel like I could just sink right through this bed. <sighs> And wait, what? I can't sit still. It's nothing, P. I'm just thinking about some stuff. Hmm. Say, P, you haven't spent much time with Fuego, right? Would you like to? All right, come on out. So this is what makes Red stand out from all the other trainers. He actually takes care of his Pokemon, basically, instead of treating them like tools for battle. Now that I think of it, this is the first time that I've kept a uh, Pokemon in a Pokeball. I'm no expert on these things, but I wonder if they're comfortable in there. In any case, he sure looks happy to get out of that ball for some fresh air. Nice. Riveting dialogue. <laughs> At least P looks happy to have another Pokemon to hang out with. That's a relief. So we're more like Ash than Red, it seems, in this game. Oh, that's cute. I wonder what mom would think of this scene. She'd probably think they're just babbling, but I can tell that they're definitely talking to each other. Come to think of it, mom could never understand what P was saying. She just throws wild guesses based on whether P sounded happy, sad, or angry. Sometimes she gets it right, but more often not. Maybe Professor Oak is onto something. Red has such a way with words true especially in the games right he's got so much dialogue man it's crazy you hungry or something i am yeah i heard that pokemon don't grow hungry while in their balls yikes when's the last time he ate oh i still have that candy bar from the weird girl i met when i first landed she said it's pokemon safe so it wouldn't hurt right here you go pal bruh this is exactly what lance told us not to do come on Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think I'm playing Sword and Shield right now, but <laughs> Oh, there we go. Nice. P and Fuego start wrestling over the candy bar. No! It's all for Fuego the 17th. Come on, how is he going to keep the family line going if he ain't got a full tummy? Looking back, P never complained about being left alone at home all the time. I was always worried that he would get lonely without me, but it looks like everything turned out okay. I'm definitely not the most experienced trainer here, but as long as I keep my Pokemon happy, we should be just fine. Nice. Oh crap! Fuego, your tail! Oh no. Oh no! Oh god, quick! Don't let it spread to anything flammable! Oh shit! <laughs> Where's Spread's Mudkip? Fire! <laughs> He really burnt down the freaking dorm room, dude. And he's got the three dots because he's red. Oh, thank goodness. All right, that's enough excitement for tonight, you two. You're lucky our neighbors were close to the fire extinguishers. <laughs> wow. Not a word of this to Brennan, you hear? I don't want rumors to start spreading. Bruh. It's all fun and games until someone accused me of arson. Yeah, this that's what I thought the story was going earlier when everybody started bullying red thankfully he diffused the situation very quickly all right time to hit the hay guys i have my elective quizzes tomorrow so i really need to catch some sleep come on back fuego the 17th <laughs> and you too p knock the fuck out boy it's time for bed Crisis averted. I think we'll do one more day and uh, I'll probably call it a night because 
I'm trying to save my voice for tomorrow, you know. Hello, class. Another day, another exciting session about fire Pokemon. Well, first things first, we got a quiz since it's Friday. Yay, I love Fridays. Clear your desk because we're starting immediately. Oh, gosh. Well, I actually like the quizzes, not gonna lie. Uh, what types are fire attacks super effective against? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess this one. Yeah. <laughs> Time's up! The answer is bug, grass, ice, and steel. I'm too good. That was pretty easy, though, I gotta say. Wait, that was the whole quiz? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm beat. I know I'm used to complain a lot about Little Root, but I kind of miss it now. That was middle school, Brennan. Things are meant to be a little harder in high school. This is more than just a little harder. This is like jumping from the kiddie pool into the middle of the ocean. So how are classes treating you, Mosif? Ready to crack yet? Dang, we got the whole gang. I just realized it's our first weekend. It's Friday. So maybe we actually get to go on some dates. Huh. Does that mean we gotta keep playing? Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it's alright. A little tougher than middle school, but that's just something to be expected. That was so cliche. Spoken like a real square. Damn. It is red though. But... Yeah, no, that's... Maybe not what I would have said. Come on, I'm just telling you what I think. Can't possibly rag on me for that. I can, and I will. Everyone has opinions, Mosif, but some are more fun to listen to than others. Spoken like a real snob. Damn. Actually, that is probably what I would have said. Maybe I am a square after all. Just no pants. It always gets noisy during this time of day. Can a girl unwind in peace? If you wanted to unwind, why don't you do it in the comfort of your room? I would, but I don't have time to go all the way there and back in time for class. Besides, there's nothing fun to do in my room. Hanging out with you guys is way more interesting. Why don't we just move somewhere else if it's too loud? Oh, oh, I got an idea. Why don't we have lunch in the school garden? The weather is perfect today. Uh, right. That is open for students. There should be plenty of room for us there. Hell yeah! I could really go for some fresh air right about now anyway. I'm tired of being stuck in these old ass classrooms all day. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? Field trip! Okay, it's not that crazy, Shauna. Like, relax. But it would be cool if everyone starts like bringing out their Pokemon while we have lunch and stuff. I don't know, I just- I hope that it's not just our character that's like the super friendship is magic guy, you know? Isn't this amazing? Nothing like a great outdoors after being glued to a stiff chair all day. The great outdoors is right. This is one big garden. They could fit a whole school back or from back home here. Looks like spring is in full swing. Everything's starting to bloom. I love it here. Reminds me of the garden behind Parfum Palace. Ooh. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Man, it's like we never left home. I heard Kalos is a really beautiful region. I've always wanted to go there myself someday. Well, if you ever find yourself there, you should visit Kumarine City. It has some amazing views. I have some photos in my album if you'd like to see. Kumarine? Is that the city that Grant is from? The rock gym? Really? That'd be awesome, actually. What about you, May? Is Hoenn anything like Kobukon? Hmm... In terms of climate, I guess Hoenn's a little warmer around this time of year, but other than that, there's really nothing jumping out at me. Oh yeah, it is silage. So what is Kumarine? Dude, I really don't remember Kalos that well. Kumarine is... We're... Gr not Grant. Uh, Ramos. Right? The grass gym leader, Ramos? Yeah, the train one. I think that was it. What up, Mega19? I was hoping to see some new Pokemon, but since Kobukon's so urbanized, I doubt there are any indigenous species here. Alright then, let's take advantage of the green Kobukon does have and find a nice picnic spot. Wait, that doesn't even make sense. It's a whole region. Why wouldn't there be other Pokemon just because it's industrialized? Like, did they really clear out all the greenery and there's 
all the Pokemon went extinct or what? Most of the good spots are already taken from the looks of it. Maybe there are some better ones in the back. All right, I'll give the first person to find a good spot. One thousand dollars. What? Are you kidding? You can't just throw money at us like where your servants are. Freaking simps. Come on, we'll split it 60-40. Man, why do I always got to get the bum end of the deal? Damn, Trevor, shot over here. We'll split it three ways. Let's go. Nope, out of my way. That money's all mine. Meanwhile, uh, you just gonna sit here while we're all out looking? I was planning on it. Damn, leave. <laughs> well, get a move on, bucko. Yes, your highness. So, Leaf is the queen bee of the group, I see. Sheesh, for such a big garden, there sure are a lot of people taking space up. You'd think there'd be a quiet spot somewhere. Nah, come on. Red wasn't simping, man. He was playing into the joke, right? Hey, here's a pretty good spot. Took long enough. Can't just keep wandering around in this maze. Let me just give Brendan a call. Wait, we're really calling him on the phone? Yo, no way, you found a spot? That's right. I'm gonna get my 1K, boy. Cool, cool. So where are you at? Uh, Somewhere. With edges and flowers. Yeah, that's uh, very descriptive. <laughs> you know which section? Maybe I should have brought a map with me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, uh, hold on. Let me ask somebody around here. Ooh, who are we going to meet this time? Since when was this all on me? Great, the one time I need somebody around, the place is empty. There's got to be someone I can talk to. Please be Dawn, please be Dawn. Oh, we got Erica. I mean, yeah, why not? Looks like somebody had the right idea finding a quiet place to nap, but in the middle of a school day? I'd ask her for some directions, but I really don't want to wake some random stranger. <laughs> you know Erica was token up in between classes. That's why she's freaking passed out right now. I suppose I could just wake her up and ask, but I wonder if she'll be mad at me for disturbing her beauty sleep. Dude, she just high, man. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Beggars can't be choosers. Who knows where the nearest person is in this maze? I'll try and handle this as delicately as I can. I'll just gently scream in her ear. Oh, God. Hmm? Hey, I think it's working. I scared myself, dude. I pushed the wrong button, but she's awake. Hi. Yee! Whoa! What do you think you're doing touching me like that? Trying to take advantage of a sleeping girl? You pervert. Uh, wait, I wasn't trying to. Oh, no. Perception decreased. Damn. Stay back, you brute. Come any closer and I'll scream. Whoa, please don't do that. Listen, I wasn't trying to... Dude, we were literally just trying to wake her up. Like, what's the problem? Maybe she was late for class. Like, I feel that... I don't know. Under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be that creepy, right? Like, there's got to be other people around. Plus, we were waking her up. We weren't, like, dragging her off somewhere else. Like, what the hell? You're not fooling anybody. It's true. My friends and I were trying to find a quiet spot for lunch, and I got lost wandering. I'd ask someone else, but you're kind of the only person here, and lunch period's gonna be over soon. Yeah, we're just trying to eat. Like, come on, Erica. Let a dude, uh... Let me get a snack. Come on, can't a guy catch a break? <laughs> Seriously can't. Oh goodness, I jumped to conclusions again, didn't I? I am so very sorry about this. It's just that you startled me and... Uh, don't worry about it. If anybody should be apologizing, it's me. Well, her personality sure did a 180 real quick. Yeah, it's almost like that was BS and that should have been the right choice, huh? Why do I always do this around boys? I hope I didn't slap you too hard. Oh, God. Well, it is Erica, after all. The girl with, like, the girl-exclusive gym. Who's got old perverts watching in from the window, so... I guess it makes sense. But then again, according to the lore of this game... 
most of these characters aren't gym leaders yet. So I don't think she's been through that. So you said you need help with directions in the garden? Yeah, that'd be a big help. This area is the lower flower path next to the t topiary. The hell does that mean? If you see the roserade hedge, then you're close to the southern exit. Wow, thanks. You must visit here a lot. I know this garden like the back of my hand. I take it you don't come here often? Nah, I'm a freshman, and apparently I'm not exactly all that great with directions either. Oh dear, that must be terribly inconvenient. Yeah, it's alright. Doesn't cause any more trouble than the average guy. I think. Is that so? Yo, what up, Xylox Brave? Welcome, welcome. This is quite a chill time, indeed. Please forgive my rudeness. I've forgotten to introduce myself. My name is Erica. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Same? Certainly. Please forgive me for becoming... My unbecoming appearance. Not used to being woken up by someone outside of my clubs. You don't have to apologize for it. Wait. Your club members are responsible for waking you up? You know, cell phones have an alarm that can do the same thing. Oh, there they are now. Whoa. Uh, what kind of club is she in, dude? The Kimono Club? <laughs> Miss Erica, your next class starts in 25 minutes. Wait, did they just say it's time for our tea? Oh. Uh, wait. Isn't that the girl from uh, X and Y? The fairy gym leader? Okay, wait, this is what I was trying to go back to. It's time for our weekly tea ceremony. Yeah, that is that. That is that is her, right? It looks like her. <laughs> okay, I mean... Yeah, that's... Uh, interesting cosplay they got on. It's like I stumbled on some kind of historical reenactment. Is this man bothering you, Miss Erica? Please pay no, Mosif no mind. He just needed to help find his bearings. Yeah, we got the Leon syndrome. You'd be grateful for this opportunity, Mosif. That's right. A lot of boys in this school would give anything for a chance to... That's quite enough, ladies. Well, Mosif, I'll be taking my leave now. I hope you and your friends have a pleasant time in this garden. Thanks. See ya. Oh, so they're just some girls from the anime. Valerie has no pupils. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. You know, actually, I know exactly what I'm thinking of. And it's not the girl from X and Y. Well, not exactly the one I'm thinking of, but... Let me just show you guys. Here we go. An excellent video. What's up, everyone? And there she is, right there. That's the girl. Dude, I don't know how I happen to remember this. <laughs> Maybe because I've watched this video, like... A couple times, because, uh, well, it's a pretty good video. Aha! The gang's all here, but we'd better eat fast. Lunch period's gonna be ending pretty soon. Aha! I already ate mine while we were walking here. See? Thinking ahead. I guess that's one way to put it. No, that's called thinking with your tummy, my dude. Was that a Venonat? You can never find them in the wild back in Hoenn. They are very rare in Kalos as well. Hold on, let me take a picture. We got Todd Snap out here. Ooh, I have to see this. That reminds me, you think Kobukon's gonna sweep the national tournament this year with what I saw at the exhibition match? I can't imagine it not being one. Oh yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? What, the tournament arc? That's like only the most important event any student trainer looks forward to, or at least any trainer worth your salt. Who's even competing this year? Well, I know Janine is, but is anyone else selected for the roster? The billboard in front of the battle hall said, lineups are decided on the first week of July, so other than Janine, no one knows. But I'm pretty sure someone said that one of the starters last year's used a lot of flying types. Can't say I know who it is, though. Well, with what we saw at the exhibition, I bet Janine can take out all the other schools by herself. Damn. Don't forget about my boy Mosif over here. This guy's gonna be the Bex MVP. Just you wait and see. Hey, Tierno believes in us, dude. Skyla, Winona. I was thinking Kahili. I don't know why. Because actually, I don't think poke or characters from Sun and Moon are even in this game yet. But 
I don't know, when I think of flying types, for whatever reason, Kahili came to mind. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. I mean, good luck to you all and that, but there's no way some first year is going to make it into the tournament. Uh, we're making it into the tournament, dude. Like, I'm interested in participating too, but even I know when to be realistic. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't even say anything about the tournament. What about your friend? What's his face? But, but face, do you know if he's going to try out for the battle team? Oh yeah, definitely. He was already banging on the battle hall door and hounding Janine the other day. It was kind of sad to watch. Who are we talking about? Just some guy in our homeroom class, and he sounds like he's got some serious issues. You said you knew him ever since you were kids? Yeah, we haven't talked much lately though. It's a long story. But never mind that. Isn't the period going to be over any moment now? We should get May and Trevor before we're all too late. Oh gosh, you're right. We can't be late. We have that weekly quiz thing. And back to reality. Snap back to reality. It's quiz time. I don't know. It could be Faulkner. We saw Faulkner during the assembly. He was like up on stage with uh, Roxanne and Brawly. Could be Skyla, but wait, we already saw Skyla with one of the students, right? So I don't think it's Skyla, but here is our next teacher, Claire. Hope you've all been on top of your studies because today is the start of your weekly quizzes. All right, is it going to have anything to do with dragon types? What types are dragon attacks super effective against? Okay, come on. That's pretty easy. Yeah, dragons attacks are only super effective against other dragons. Type effectiveness is absolutely the most basic of Pokemon studies. Do not skimp on this material. And more importantly, do not simp on the instructor. <laughs> well, too late for that. And with the end of the second industrial revolution, blah, 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 blah. Now who can tell me which fossil was restored first? Oh. I thought that was actually about to be one of the quiz questions because I had no idea, dude. <laughs> it appears you've been saved by the bell. Okay, students, make sure to look over the readings online tonight. I'll be posting some supplementary readings for those of you who were confused today, which was almost all of us. Thank goodness. After all that lecturing, I'm feeling like a fossil myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that stuff's relevant to student like us. I haven't even seen a fossil before. At least now you'll know how to turn it into a Pokemon if you ever do come across one. Seriously, Mosif, do you really see me digging around in some dusty old cave? Ah, can we save this talk about fossils for another time? I've heard enough about it for one day. Right, sorry. So, what are your plans now? Um, yeah, but I think that guy over there looks like he wants to have a word with you. Wait, with me? Oh, no, come on, dude. What is it now? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, Butt's been staring at you for a while now. I thought he was just staring off in your general direction, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case anymore. Does he want something from you, or...? I don't know, and I'm not interested in finding out. If you say so. Anyway, about today, okay. Yo, loser! Relic Hall's library since I still didn't get... Hey! I'm talking to you! Oh, my mistake. Wow, dumb and deaf? Just how clueless are ya? Buddy, you've been on Moses' case since day one. Give it a rest already. Yeah, what's with you? Aren't you and Moses supposed to be friends? Ugh, you two again. So, you like hiding behind girls all day? I mean, I don't mind. Can't even fight your own battles, can you? What was that? For real, what do you want this time? Is this another one of your pointless challenges? There's nothing pointless about this one. This time it's for real. What exactly makes this one different? This time I'm not going to pull any punches. I'll make you admit it was all luck on Tuesday. It really was though. But we'd never tell Blue that, right? He really has a one-track mind when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> What's going on here? You guys have a shouting contest? If they were, it'd be a real one-sided contest. Butt's been yapping his trap at Mosif for a while now. I really wish Butt's voice didn't carry so far. Yeah, dude, what? This is looking like Blue's harem right now. Like, what the heck? 
Come on, butt. Do we really have to do this right now? Look, we can't do this later. Like, <laughs> not on your life. Oh, the girls are stepping up. Doesn't look like he's going to take no for an answer. <sighs> all right. Have it your way. But if I win, you stop all this crap. Enough picking fights. No more bad mouthing. All of it. It's getting real old. I have no idea what you're on about. But whatever, fine. Like that's ever gonna happen. But if I win, you admit that you'll always be a second rate trainer compared to me. Does this guy have an inferiority complex or just hate your guts? I think it's both, dude. If you're done whispering, hurry up and let's get this started. I don't have all day. So we got another rival battle versus blue. Oh, snap. Okay. I mean, we'll see if this time he uses bubble or not isn't it against school policy to battle in non-combat zones let's go squirtle come on out oh it's professor oak this isn't the place to do that hey the classic oak line this is not the time and place wow considering his age professor oak sure got here fast whoa crap i'm out of here dude look at whitney's face oh man i didn't i noticed it too late but Hey, there we go. Forgot we can go back. That is the face of pure terror. Eek, Flynn, wait up. Gramps, I was just, uh, kind of looks like he's got his hand on his shoulder, but nah. You were just planning on getting me fired for allowing you to damage expensive school property. Damn, Oak is pissed. Well, I mean, the lesson's over, so I figured you can't act so irresponsibly. You're an adult now for crying out loud. And Mosef, I'm very disappointed in you. You should know better. I didn't even have a choice. Sorry, Professor. Psh, we weren't going to do anything crazy. If you boys want to have a Pokemon match, then use the battle hall or the gymnasium like any normal student. And I better not catch you doing something like this again. I mean, we've just been playing the games. Like, they battle anytime, anywhere. There ain't not this many rules about it. Man, I do not envy you. Well, looks like I can go ahead and add this to my list of public humiliations. At least this time it was just in front of our friends, right? Or the other students there too, and we just don't see him. You heard him. We're doing this at the battle hall. Let's go already. All right, all right. You're not really going through with this. I said I would, didn't I? Besides, what he said was kind of true. Tuesday was just a practice match. This one's personal. So you're going to whip him so bad he's going to stop messing with you? Wink. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting time. Can't wait. I uh, do have some plans with Brennan. You guys have fun without me. Oh, that's too bad. Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it tonight. Well, what are you waiting for? Time to teach Butt not to mess with the man named Mosif. Oh, dude, we are totally in with Leaf already. Like, no doubt. I will be at a disadvantage. Others will be watching, and if I lose, but will never, ever let me live it down. No pressure. And the girl of our dreams watching, too. I mean, what? Did I say that? Uh, here we are again. I wonder if they're even going to let us in after what happened last time. Well, hurry up and ask them to let us use the arena already. Yeah, for real. Why can't I just bring P along? Like, if they just let me bring P, it'd be over in a second. Why me? This is your idea. The... The captain said I wasn't allowed to show my face here until battle team sign up start. Janine, ban you from the battle hall. Serves you right, getting all up in her face like that. Just shut up and ask already. But wait, this means we can't have our battle if you're not allowed in here. That's a damn shame. I'm willing to make an exception. Whoa! Janine, I didn't know the battle team was open today. Yikes, I already thought she was intimidating the first time we met, but after seeing what she did during the exhibition match, the feeling's twofold. We aren't. It's just me and the other seniors. And I heard what you were talking about. I'm allowing you to an arena for your battle. Really? Just like that. But I thought Butt was banned. Dude, stop bringing it up. Obviously, she's letting us do it. Let's just do it. Come on in. We'll get you two started right away. 
Oh man, it's so close to the get out of jail free card. Why is it one time someone's considerate? It has to make matters worse for me. For real, dude. I'm nervous. Like the first time it really was just luck that we won. And this time we can't even bring P when we want to. Like, nice try. Unfortunately for you, there's no weaseling on out of this one. Now get in here and take your beating like a man. <laughs> you sure are running your mouth a lot for someone that already lost to me before. I told you I wasn't serious that time, and I'll prove it to you with this battle. Let's just get this over with then. This is for real, right? About time you got serious. I'm not holding back this time. Yo, check it out. We got some fresh meat using the field. Why do they call them fresh meat, dude? That's gross. <laughs> Really? I hate watching kids battle. Seeing the plays they make gets me sick sometimes. Damn. Hey, isn't that the kid everyone's talking about? The one that has beef with Lance? What? Lance say he got some beef with me? Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. He's got the dumb hat and everything. Oh, man. I gotta see this now. I see news travels fast here, too. You nervous? Hey, Leaf. Didn't expect you to show. Really? Hey yourself, how could I miss seeing Butt get stomped? You're not putting pressure on me at all. I'm just speaking the truth, and at least I'm here for you, right? So, you got any tips? Me? What makes you think I can help? You got this. You beat him before, you can beat him again. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines, now wipe that stupid look off his face and show him what you got. Well, alrighty then. Here goes nothing. Ready for a trip to the dumpster? Yep, I got your name on the ticket right here. <laughs> Come on then, I'll take you on. Here we go, second match versus blue. And we can pretty much only pick Charmander again. We didn't even level up either, man. Come on. <laughs> Still got Squirtle looking derpy as ever. Anyway, uh, I think this time... Well, I don't think we even want a Tail Whip. I feel like we should just keep going for Bite and hope for the flinch. Because that's the only way we're going to win, dude. Oh, God, he's got what? Are you kidding me? I didn't even stand a chance. Bruh. What was that? Come on. What'd you think of that? I told you you're just a second-rate trainer. Last time was just pure luck on your end. Shut the... Dude. We just got crit by a water gun. Like, there was literally... How... Damn it. Wasn't supposed to go like this. Oh, man. Mosef. Dude, now we lose the battle and we lose the girl? Are you kidding me? Wow, this is depressing. I don't, I don't even want to play the game anymore. <laughs> well, it figures that he'd show up here, but why now? Oh, wait. Will Smith? Hold up. I don't have the sound effect loaded up for this one, so... I'm going to have to... Uh, just real quick... Uh, Yeah, it's rewind time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, we can't rewind past the battle. What the dude? Wow. We can't rewind that far. Oh, well. It's you. The battle's over. Hurry up and shake hands. You're inconveniencing the other trainers. That goes for everyone else, too. Unless you're with the battle team. Clear on out of here. Oh, whoops. Except for you. You stay. Me? Dude, the way everyone is staring at me right now. I don't like this. All right, guess I gotta go. I'd stick around, but I'd rather not get on Lance or Janine's bad side. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, at least she's still talking to us. This better not be a continuation of last time. I don't know if I could stand being belittled by someone like him again. You, over there. I thought I told everyone to leave. You're the supervisor of the battle team, right? You're Lance. I won't tell you again. Leave. Wait, 
You were watching our match, right? I think it's pretty safe to say that I got the skills to get into the battle team. Bro, you literally clicked water gun once and got a crit. Get the get out of here with that shit, Blue. Come on. Janine over there won't admit it, but I'm sure you can recognize talent. No. But I just... Y you didn't... I said no. Now get out. You're not helping your case by begging us to sign you up every day, you know? It's... Well, frankly, it's a little embarrassing. It's not often someone manages to make Butt squirm like that. He always did get uncharacteristically sheepish when someone spoke to him bluntly. Yeah, this dude is shook right now. What's up with that? Are you too blind? I wiped the floor with Mosif. He didn't stand a chance. You're making the biggest mistake of your life not putting me on the team right now. I'm the best thing to happen to this school. So I deserve to be in here now. You're supposed to be Professor Oak's grandson. You talk big, but you're so uncertain of your own skills that you refuse to earn your spot on the team like anyone else. You don't know a damn thing about me. You think you're some big shot just because you run things around here? Show some respect first year. One more word out of you and I'll have you thrown out of this building. Dang, so that's it. Yeah, not much he can do there. I feel like this is the beginning of Blue's like evil arc. Like this is not going to end well for him since everyone at school shunned him. Wow. I need to start taking tips from these guys to save myself some butt induced migraines. <laughs> now then. Our business with you. You look vaguely familiar. Have we met before? Uh, well, you know, people always tell me that I have a face that reminds them of someone, so I guess that's why? It's those butt-induced migraines. <laughs> Too much ass in the face. The kid's a first year, according to Butt. His name's Mosif. Mosif, huh? I'm sure I've heard that name from somewhere. Uh, never mind that. You said you have business with me. It's getting kind of late, so I'd like to get back before curfew. Don't worry, this won't take long. We just wanted to ask a few questions about your Charmander. What? You and your Charmander may have lost that battle in the end, but I've never seen a first stage Pokemon react so accurately and quickly to its trainer's commands. How long have you been training it for? My Venomoth didn't get a word I was saying until about middle school, and I've had him since I was four. You must have put your Charmander through some intense training. Why hasn't it evolved into Charmeleon yet? Dude, it's been like two days. Thing is, I've only had this Charmander a few days now. He was the Pokemon that Homeroom assigned to me. And I really don't think I did anything particularly special. I just told him what I wanted to do and he listened. It was the Rage Candy Bar. You know it was the Rage Candy Bar. You're serious? Yeah, Gramps gave it to- Dude, they told you to get out! What are you still doing here? Now that you mention it, that Charmander was reacting stupid accurately to what you were saying. What are you trying to pull, Mosif? I thought I told you to keep your mouth shut! <laughs> and he just butts right on out of there again. In any case, there has to be something else. Working with Pokemon, let alone battling with them, just isn't that simple. Doesn't look like they're going to believe me anytime soon. I didn't think it was that unusual for a trainer and his Pokemon to understand each other well, but apparently it is. If Professor Oak didn't make me promise not to tell anyone about what he said to me, I'd bring it up in an instant. Oh, that's true. Can't talk about how we're Mr. Pokemon Whisperer. Do you use hand signals or specific vocal commands? Come on, give us something to work with. I really don't know what to tell you guys. He understands me and I understand him. I'm starting to feel like a broken record here. Is it like this with any other Pokemon you own or just Charmander? No, it's the same with Pikachu, but I've had him since I was a kid, so... Really? Do you have him here with you? I should have known. Now I remember. You're the one with that runt of a Pikachu. Dude, that was literally yesterday. Like less than 24 hours ago. How did you already forget? Oh crap. Wait, this kid? He's the one you were complaining about before? Small world. I knew something was up when you started meandering on and on about this and that. You had no idea what you were talking about from the beginning. This has been a huge waste of time. He understands me and I can understand him. To be able to say things like that with a straight face. It's repulsive. I have nothing more to say to you. Lance, take it easy, man. I think he was being serious. 
If he's gone to the point where he's so delusional that he believes what he's saying, then he'll never, ever be a successful trainer. What's his problem, dude? I don't like Lance at all. Like, why did they have to make him such a peepee head? It's like his personality completely turned itself on his head. I was hoping to get some information out of you, but it's clear that you're just wasting everyone's time. Psh. Why are you still here? What are you laughing at, boy? The Grand Summon of Professor Oak having so much trouble with someone like him. What an embarrassment. Damn. Okay, now that was a burn. Don't think I didn't hear you mouthing off. Wait, what? You're all barking, no bite. Call me immature, but even I can't stop myself from smiling at butt getting scolded like that. Really? That was harsh, man. You got a problem with the way I do things? I'll take you on myself. Acting so high and mighty just because of a few trophies? Yeah, I know of your accomplishments. Or lack thereof. You think you're hot shit, but you couldn't even win the regional qualifiers your senior year. Damn, but... Whoa! What? I thought, like, Lance, like, I don't know, started burning up the field, but apparently Janine just used her Shadow Clone. I've had just about enough of you and your disrespect. If you don't get out of my face within the next 10 seconds, we're going to have a big problem. Yikes. Mosef, you better not be letting all this attention get to your head. You're still just a third-rate trainer compared to me. Remember that. Get out. Yo, what up, Queen T? Who you simping? I mean, maybe Janine right now. She's pretty badass. Definitely not Lance, though. I thought I was a second-rate trainer. When did I get demoted? <laughs> he called us third-rate this time. And why haven't you left yet? Leave. You have no more business being here. Guess he's still mad about what I said before, but can you really fault me for just saying what I believed in? I think you're being a little too hard on the kid. Whatever. I'm leaving. If you need me for something, you know where to find me. I know that look on your face. Don't worry about it. He doesn't always mean what he says. Take some time to warm up to him. Really? And hey, don't take your loss too hard. You win some, you lose some. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> you put up a pretty good fight regardless. You and your Charmander should be proud. We got one shot by a water gun. What are you even saying? I still lost in the end, so what does it matter if it was a good fight or not? More importantly, it's getting late. You should start heading back before the campus security catches you. Right. Wouldn't want to deal with those guys again. Did you say something? Uh, nope, nothing, nothing at all. Bye-bye. Alright, so I'll probably wrap it up after this little bit of dialogue. I need some, uh, water. And I'm all out, so... What a day! I agree to meet with Brennan and May for dinner without a second thought, but I haven't paid any attention to the conversation the entire time. How'd your day go, man? You seem kinda down. Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little tired. You've been tired a lot lately. You should try and take it easy one of those days. Oh, believe me, I'm trying. It's rough being the main character out here. It's, it's a lot of dialogue, man. I'll bet you're tired. I'm surprised you managed to crawl out of that situation in one piece. Seems like you just love getting into trouble. Wink. <laughs> Who cares about that right now, though? What are you guys doing for the weekend? Oh boy, let's see. Got a ton of homework for homeroom and electives? What? They give homework and homeroom class? Pokey school be hitting different. Get this. We need to read three chapters and write three page... Well, I was thinking that we can go to the fields outside and catch some wild Pokemon. Ooh, that sounds fun. Is that even allowed? Yep, I asked around and all the teachers gave me that okay. Apparently all the Pokemon in the fields were originally imported from other regions just for the students here. Really? That's awesome. That is really convenient. I didn't even know importing Pokemon was a thing. Or legal. We should invite Shauna and the other guys too. I bet they'd get pretty upset if they found out we forgot about them. Or, you know, we could keep the group nice and small so that like you guys can go split off and maybe live, leave me and Leaf a little bit at one on one time, you know? What are the chances this turns into another stressful encounter with someone undesirable? Not that it matters since I doubt Leaf would take no for an answer at this point. Sure, sounds like a lot of fun. 
I hope. Okay, so it's decided. Let's all meet up at the entrance first thing in the morning and catch some wild Pokemon. Yay, I'll be looking forward to it. But my homework. Oh man, Brennan. Should I bring P and Fuego too? Of course, come on. What are you gonna battle the wild Pokemon with? You can't, this ain't no Safari Zone. Speaking of which, everyone else is probably bringing their Pokemon too. Now that'd be interesting to see. Epic. Well, that is gonna do it for this one. I am very excited though to see what catching Pokemon is like. 